it seems as if there's a genetic predisposition. Remember Bob Harper? Yes. Uh, for those of you listening, for my Gen Zers, mm -hmm. Bob Harper was uh, the trainer in The Biggest Loser. He was super fit, very healthy, and he was running on a treadmill, and he had a heart attack. And he, again, ate, quote, very healthy, and it was he had genetic hypercholesterolemia. He actually had lipoprotein little a. Oh, how high? Do we know? Don't know. Um, and lipoprotein little a, Mike, Dr. Twyman can talk about that. Those are, it, it's a genetic marker. Again, there's a series of markers that we look for. LP little a, ApoB, yes, LDL cholesterol, which will then bring us into this keto trial. Are there other markers? Are those, would those be your top? And what are they? So I usually kind of break it down into three big buckets. So I look at tests that affect your nitric oxide pathways. So uric acid, homocysteine, um, look at urine, microalbumin, and creatinine, old school test to look to see if you have kidney disease. But if you have protein in your urine, you're damaging the glycocalyx to the kidneys. So if you're damaging that, potentially you're damaging the heart artery ones. Um, so that's kind of one bucket. There's a few others, you know, like the salivary nitric oxide strips and blood pressure. Second big bucket is the oxy of stress and inflammatory markers. So HSCRP, LP, PLA2 activity, which is a marker of inflammation in the artery. Myeloperoxidase, which is a marker of white blood cell activation, which is potentially going to be damaging your HDL and the top layers of the arteries. 